Yo, I'm so excited about what I'm about to tell you about. Check it. We are offering you, because you're listening to this podcast, you actually get a copy of the original Break Time CD. You don't understand. Break Time is what gave birth to Off the Cuff. So because you're listening to this right now, you have access to a free copy of that CD. We sell it at my events for $20. It's on my website for $20. But you, as a result of listening right now, if you go to michaeljr.com slash free CD, you get one for free. All you got to do is pay shipping, and it's yours, like, for free. I don't want people to think that I'm forcing you to do this because you're my daughter. It's the impromptu comedy that happens at a Michael Jr. comedy show. And maybe some impromptu information that ties it all together. It's supposed to be inspirational. It's time for Michael Jr. off the cuff. Dad, can I go play now? Yo, here we go. I am comedian Michael Jr., in case you didn't know, and this is Michael Jr. off the cuff. I'm so excited. I'm pumped. I'm sitting here with tech guy Nick. Hey, yo. Yeah. Can you pick another greeting, maybe? Because that's a little... What's up? A little abrupt. Let's just try again. I am comedian Michael Jr. sitting here with tech guy Nick. Hello there. Okay. That's just, that just sounds like you, you're not dating anybody. Well, you know, that's accurate. <laughs> So, uh, as, as always, we love to go off the cuff, which is really what this is. We're just setting this up, talking, but it's really what happens at my live comedy event. So if you've never been to a Michael Jr. comedy show, you should come through. We have a lot of fun. It's a blast. Go to michaeljr.com, check the website, see when I'm going to be near you or far. Get in the car, drive. It'll be fun. So, and you can bring the whole family, too. You can bring the kids. You can bring the dog. I'll charge for the dog, but he can't come in. Yeah, the most venues don't allow pets. Yeah, but I'll still, you can still buy a ticket for him, though. But he just got to wait outside somewhere. So uh, Off the Cuff is basically where we get to know the folks in between the jokes. So it's the funny that happens at the show, but it's not scheduled. It just kind of happens. So we recorded it, and we're going to share it with you. You get to hear what happened at the show, and I think you're going to enjoy it, because I know I did. Nick, would you, did you have fun with these? Oh, absolutely. Like This is my favorite. Like Not that, you're not, that your set isn't funny. Right. But it's like it's to the point of where it becomes a little robotic for me because I'm so focused on all the cues and tech and everything. Yes, this is it's it's a breather for me because yeah. I I know there aren't any cues. I just get to enjoy people enjoying the show. Listen, my wife says it's her favorite part of the show. Like literally, mm-hmm. she says it all the time. I don't take offense to it. It's my favorite part of the show. Yeah, like going off the cuff is so much fun because I don't know what to expect. None of this stuff is rehearsed. None of this planned. We don't have any plants in the audience. Whatever mm-hmm. was that one time was that 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 uh, venue that had them uh, ferns in the back. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> That's the only plant we had. For this Off the Cuff episode, we actually went to Grove City, Ohio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When I first read it, where we were going, I thought it was Groove City. I was like, cats want to dance there. But I think that comes up in the break time. Anyway. <laughs> and before that, it was kind of tight for you, Nick, right? Because you only oh, yeah. had a very limited time to prepare for the show. Yeah. So to give you just a tiny bit of the behind the scenes of what goes into Michael Jr. to comedy show, like... We usually try to schedule out two hours before doors. That's when I get to run through all the tech and everything like before that. Before sure doors? You got to explain them what that open. Mean. Yeah, doors Sorry, open. Just add open them. Before doors. Before doors, yes. Yeah. The doors, the band, you know, never mind. But no, usually before doors open, I want about two hours to run through everything, make sure everything's solidified, and do all the nerdy things I do. But this one, since we had that business conference that we did in Indianapolis earlier, mm-hmm. and we were driving, we road tripped it mm-hmm. all the way from uh, Indiana. Yeah, that business conference was fun, by the way. I do a lot of corporate speaking. I uh, also do, you know, I do like uh, keynote presentations. And so we had one of those in mm-hmm. Indianapolis, and then right afterwards, you had to get in the car, mm-hmm. drive. Mm-hmm. I had to go to the hotel and rest. Mm-hmm. And then you... Uh, I had like maybe half hour, maybe 45 minutes hour. to get everything all together. Yeah, so... Um, I didn't go to the hotel and rest, by the way. I was there with Nick working hard through sound check. Yeah. Not at all, not at all. So anyway, it was fun. I remember Grove City. It was mm-hmm. what was your favorite part of this break time? What can they expect? Like what do you feel like you have the most fun with? I wouldn't say like I'm gonna go different than what I normally do. Normally I pick out Well, let me go first. Let me yeah, go first. Go My first. favorite part of the break time is uh when I'm gonna say it like this. When Zach went black. <laughs> that's, what should, that's what we should name this one when Zach went black because yeah. he's got to have names so we should write yeah. that, that that's, a, that's a good name for this one when Zach went black yeah and then um, it was just really 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 funny it's a, this guy who's dating this girl and her dad is it's, it's we don't want to get too much yeah it, we won't get too good. much into it 
And then what was what, what what stood out for you? What stood out for me? I'm gonna go different. Normally, I pick something that I find very amusing and funny. But you actually did give some really solid advice to to the ladies out there when it comes to the whole dating thing. And the, and the piece of advice that you gave there was really good. Oh, cool. So oh. so so it's a little bit more inspirational than what I normally go. But no. Yeah, yeah. So good. if you ever been to one of my comedy shows, the, the tour we just got off of is called More Than Funny. So the funny is there for sure, but there's always something a little more that takes place that kind of inspires people in some way or another. So uh, this time you went with the more as opposed to the funny. Exactly. Wow, yeah. big move, big move. I stuck to the funny because that's what I do. <laughs> well, with no further ado, I think we should do the thing. Well, can I say something other than further ado? I'm tired of that one. Uh, with no more pausentation. Pause and delay? Pausentation. With no more delay. Let's do this thing today and go off the cuff. Let's get to know the people a little bit first. Cool, sir, in the black. What's your name? Third row. Yeah, you, you, you just looked at me like this and then you went like this. <laughs> What's your name? What is it? Okay, you don't have a name, okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna go ahead and give you a name. Uh, let's go with Jacob. Your name's Robert? Cool, they call you Robert? What do they call him? You let your wife talk for you all the time, sir? Is that what's going on right now? Cool. I don't even see her other hand now that I think about it. She's like, my name is Robert. <laughs> I'm just serious. So wait, they don't call him Robert, they call him what? Oh, now you can't talk either? Okay. All right, where am I at again? Yo, these lights are really bright. I keep wanting to reach my license and registration. These are some bright lights. I can't even see the audience. This is pretty bright. I just, I keep, <laughs> I do. Cool. What's your name? On the end, Ernst Folder's still judging me. What's your name? Leah. Leah, that's a cool name. Leah, like Leah. That's cool. What do you do, Leah? Oh, you had to check with your daughter. That's great. That's great. Wow. Uh... Y'all didn't know I was gonna talk to you at all? You just thought, hey, we just gonna watch. Why is he talking right now to us? Try to turn it. I told you not to turn on Bet TV. <laughs> Bet television, that's hysterical. Nothing? Okay, cool, cool. It's like, I don't, I don't gamble. I don't get it, I don't get it. It's, <laughs> Sir, what's your name right here on you? What's your name? Todd. Todd. Wow. Hey, you see how that works, sir? You see how that works? <laughs> I just pointed at him. Asked him his name. Dude just said his name. <laughs> Great conversation. He didn't even look at his wife. He just said it himself. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Todd. Todd, what do you do for a living? Install security, Install security systems. Cool. You didn't want to check with your daughter first to make sure that's what you do? <laughs> cool. She's behind you. You install security systems. Cool. Like in people, because there's some insecure people around too. So you'd be like, that'd be kind of cool. You're like, you seem insecure. I got a system I can put in you if you want to. Cool. Like, what kind of security systems do you install? Like, what? Commercial and residential homes. Oh, cool. So you install them. Cool. I got a friend that kind of work with you. Yeah. I mean, he helped you be in business, is what I'm saying. Like, he helped. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm... Y'all work together, kind of. You know what I'm saying? So, that's awesome. You married? You married? Yes. Cool. How long have you been married? 33 years. Wait one second. Wait, 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 wait. Here's the thing. I know for a fact, when you normally ask a man how long he's been married, first thing that happens, his head turns like this. But he said it with so much confidence, I think he might be bluffing. I could be 100% wrong. You said 33. Is that your wife next to you? Yes. How long y'all been married? 34 years. What do you know? What do you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Wow. You might need a different security system, sir. That's right. <laughs> that is awesome. He was confident, too. 33 years. Should have checked with your daughter. That's what you should have did. 
I'd love to talk to uh, this guy right here. Some brother right there with the black shirt. Where's the mics? We got the mic people because I just popped up already. We, we had rehearsed. Okay, there she is. Awesome. I want to talk to this brother right here. Bruh, can you raise your hand? You know when I say bruh. Yeah, exactly. He knew. He was confusing. So, okay. What's your name, bro? My name is Daryl. Daryl. It's a cool name. Daryl. What do you do, Daryl? Well, I'm self-employed. I have a... Daryl ain't engine. got no job, y'all. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Because you true. started with no, well. That's true. A lot of times when somebody no, started well. You're absolutely right. Yeah, you're right. I don't. But what it's do... funny you mentioned janitor because I have a commercial cleaning business. Oh, cool. You have a what? I can't. I'm having heart. Yeah, you I have, have a what? I have a commercial cleaning business. Oh, a commercial cleaning business. Yes, sir. Oh, cool. Yes, sir. So you watch commercials while you clean up? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like you watch the TV while you. Oh, that's dope. Right. Cool. Right. Cool. You started it. How long you, been ha how long you had that business? Uh, I started in uh, 2001. Are you making so. this stuff up right now? <laughs> I believe you, Daryl. Who's that with you? Who's that with you? This is my wife, Marlo. Marna? Marlo and Charmaine and Zach. Oh, wow. You got three wives. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Was this just got weird. <laughs> I'm just Zach. playing. Those are your kids with you? Your kids, too? No, yeah, Zach is a guy. Yeah, Mark, uh, Charmaine is our... <laughs> hey, I'm not judging you, bro. No. <laughs> so, Zach, is, you said Zach is a guy? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that your son? Yes, sir. Well, Charmaine is our daughter, and she's dating Zach. Oh. <laughs> how's that working out? <laughs> it's working out relatively well, actually. When well, you say relatively, impressed. like well, you're trying impressed. to have him re related to you? Is that what that means? Yeah, we're working on that. Yeah. We just did our first family dinner. Yeah, last week. Oh, he came over for the first time last week? Well, we went out for Charmaine's birthday, and then his parents came along, and then we came along, and the grandparents oh, were cool. here. Oh, cool. This just turned into a talk show. Um, <laughs> wow. You know what? And the grandparents are here. Come on out. It <laughs> turned into a talk show just real quick. Wow. Wow. Hey, so what'd you think? This is interesting. What'd you think when you first met him? Like, what was you like? What'd you? What was that process like when you first met? Well, I was impressed. Very impressed. You were he impressed. Yeah, I was. He didn't put on any fronts, airs. He was just himself. Although he did have a Michigan shirt on. You know. <laughs> you know, I kind of like him too. I gotta be real with you. I kind of like him. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Yeah. And then. Um, yeah, let me talk to Zach real quick. Yeah, I'll yeah, well, no problem. No problem. Here you go. <laughs> What's What's go oh, What's snap. On? Zach isn't the same complexion as your daughter. Okay. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't even notice that. Wow, okay, cool. Your daughter, she having mixed feelings. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't even... <laughs> Zach, I should have known Zach. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool. Wow, this is very interesting. So... So, Zach, cool, wow. All right, um, <clears throat> how'd, you, how'd you meet his daughter? How'd you meet her? Uh, church Bible study. Church Bible study. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> okay, had you ever um, dated outside of your neighborhood before? <laughs> <laughs> I just dated out my side of my league, that's all. Well, you, gotta hold the mic, you gotta hold the mic up a little more so I can hear you better. Cool. Just, how, how'd you guys meet? How'd you guys meet? This Bible study. Like, exactly. Like, what was your approach? How'd you roll up? Like, what'd you say? I slid into her DMs on Facebook. You, you what? <laughs> to her direct messages on Facebook. I messaged her on Facebook. Okay. So you didn't even approach her at Bible study. <laughs> you just saw her at Bible study. Then you went to Facebook and was like, hey, how you doing? You got it. <laughs> Yeah, cool. <laughs> Let me talk to her, man. Let me talk to her. <laughs> How you doing? What's, what, what, tell me your name again. Is I'm Charmaine. Charmaine. Charmaine? Charmaine. Maine. Yeah, she going to correct it if I don't get it right. <laughs> cool, cool. How did, he How did he approach you? What was the approach exactly? I like, can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> It was oh. more just like, hey, how you doing? And something like that. Oh. <laughs> There's a gerbil over here being stabbed. <laughs> so had you, uh, had, had you, did you, had you been outside of the neighborhood before? Or is this the first time? 
This is my first. The first? Cool. You can't say it like first, like there's going to be a second or third. Because he right there. He right there. This is the first one. So. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Cool. Was, you, was there any, because uh, I grew up in a time where people, my, my, my parents and what my dad did say, he's like, <laughs> he don't say this anymore. He's awesome. But the phrase was, uh, if they can't use your comb, don't bring them home. <laughs> that was a, that was, a, <laughs> that was, a, that was when I, that was what, so, you ain't never heard that before? Okay, okay, okay. So I love it. That's awesome. So, because the kids is all beautiful. Little beige kids, that could be like really dope. Like them little kid beige. So, so was, was, there any, was there any nervousness about bringing Zach to the crib? Was you concerned at all? A little, yes. Oh, cool. Was Zach concerned or he was just, he had no idea? No, no he was down with it. Oh, cool. Zach was like, come on, let's do it. It's going to be great. Yeah, that's, listen. That's the same thing they do in the woods when it's a boogeyman, too. Come on. Come on, it'll be okay. Let's just split up. <laughs> let's just split up. That's awesome. Wow, so how's it going, like, on a scale of 1 to 10? What you thinking right now? How's it going? He's a 10. He's doing awesome. Treats me like a queen. Oh, wow, that's cool. Good job, Zach. Way to represent. Let me talk to your mama, Charlene. Cool. I they thought all I got a little hall more. pass. Cool. How, how's it going for you? How are you liking Zach so far? I like Zach. He's a good guy. Cool. Good old Zach. How long did it take you to say, okay, Zach? How long was that pro process for you? How long? The first time I met him, he was himself, he was genuine, and he's been that person ever since. Good answer. Wow, you guys are singing the same exact song. That is great, man. <laughs> cool. Well, I know I was joking earlier, but Zach's ex-girlfriend is here. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, not, that's, not true. that's not true. Tamika? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> oh my gosh, why is that so funny to me? That's so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yo, I hope it works out like legit, for real. That's dope, dude. Especially with the dad being there. Like, that's pretty dope. So, I, when my daughters came home, I, um, I, uh, oh, you know, I'm gonna give some, some dating advice to the women. I, I don't do this all the time, but I got some advice. This is kind of dope. Here's what you do, ladies. And this works for men, too, but I don't really, I'm not giving y'all no advice, but this is, okay. So, ladies, if you're ever dating a guy, like if you first date, right, and you're a Christian, you love Jesus, and you're dating this dude, it's the first date, here's what you don't do. Do not tell him that you're a Christian. Like, just don't. Like, for real. Just, just don't. I know it sounds weird so far. I'm doing that for dramatic purposes. <laughs> but on the real, don't tell him you're a Christian because... Men sometimes had a tendency to try to show up like that. So don't tell them you're a Christian, right? In fact, what you do while you're on a date, you listen for the first four subjects that he initiates, right? I want to say three. I'm going to get a brother four. He might be nervous because you're fine. <laughs> but listen for the first four subjects that he initiates. So first he talks about his car, which is cool. It's all right. Dudes like cars. Then he talk about... Um, his house. Okay, cool, cool. He got two more opportunities, right? And then he bring up sports. <sighs> At this point, he got one more opportunity to bring up God. Because, listen, if he, if he doesn't, if his fourth time, if he doesn't bring up God, you need to say to him, hey, I'm going to the bathroom. And you won't be lying, you just go to the bathroom at your house. Because <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the thing. If a man is not bringing up his relationship with God, he will be bringing yours down. That was just extra. That was extra for break time. That was extra. Y'all should change the name to Groove City. That'd be dope. It should be Groove City. It should be Groove City. Too much. You afraid the wrong people are going to show up if it's Groove City? <laughs> we came here to get our groove on. What's going on with Ben Groove? <laughs> it's like, no, we're Grove City, okay? Let's be clear about that. This is the same. Like, it's, it's the same. If you Groove City, it's smooth. If you grow, like, actually, your groove get wore out after a while. You're like, I don't want, I'm going to Grove City at this point. I don't know what's going to, like, 
I can see myself like along, like I'll have great, great grandkids and they'll ask me a question. They'll be like, hey, tell us about the time you went to Grove City. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. When I was there, uh, they still had a Kmart. I remember that. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be like, was it 1982? I'll be like, no, no, it was, it was 2018. They had a Kmart, and uh, I met a man there who was married for 33 years. Uh, well, so he thought, and uh, and his wife corrected him, and um, and now he's kind of insecure about the whole thing. But he actually has a system that's gonna fix that whole situation. And I met a gerbil that got stabbed over and over and over again the entire night. It was really kind of interesting. And that gerbil wasn't too far from Daryl, who had three wives. <laughs> Which was weird at first, because one of them was named Zach. And uh, Zach didn't want to be married to Daryl, actually. But Zach did want to go black. <laughs> <It's very funny. laughs> But he didn't know that Tamika was in the back, so, uh, <laughs> it's not. Yo, Grove City, you were amazing. I just want to say thank you to everybody out there, all the people who came to that show. And I also want to say to you, the podcast listeners, I appreciate you, like, for real. Go ahead and share this with as many people as you can. Do all of that cool stuff. And as always, I think it's great when you have a lot of plans and you're going after them and really pursuing them. It's also important to be sensitive to the needs and desires of the people around you just in case you have to adjust your plans and go off the cuff. Yo, we're going to be dropping this podcast every week. Subscribe, tell some people. In fact, send them a link so they can laugh as well. Maybe learn a little something at the end. And use hashtag Michael Jr. off the cuff. That's Michael Jr. off the cuff. I'm Michael Jr. I appreciate you. I love you. I'm out.